Well, Bob and Laura, within the last 40 minutes, Little Rock Police letting us know that they're investigating a homicide after a body was dropped off at a local hospital. Meanwhile, we are right off of Boyd Street where police are investigating a shots fire call. If you take a look behind me, you can see crime scene tape is up here and several police and detectives have been on scene. They're focused on one house right here behind me that you might see with the yellow tape around it. Meanwhile, tonight we are looking at the number of violent crimes that have been happening across the capital city. Within the last year, we've seen a 21% increase in violent crimes compared to 2020. Yellow tape crossing off crime scenes has become more common across Little Rock in 2021. It's very, very frustrating, you know, to see this. And it's very heartbreaking, especially, you know, see the homicide numbers that are, that are going up. Some Arkansans, like Reverend Benny Johnson, the founder of Arkansas Stop the Violence, says things need to change. A lot of times, uh, I don't even know some of the families. I buried a lot of these young men. Uh, one was 17 years old. His local nonprofit has been focusing on youth and taking a stand against violence since the 1990s. He said he's seen the burden these homicides have on families. When you go and kill the people, you don't know what you, how you detriment their family. And, uh, uh, we got to solve our difference other than, you know, uh, violence. We could, we could talk our thing out. These numbers from LRPD show the first three months of 2021 compared to last year, a 63% increase in homicide offenses, a 52% increase in forcible rape, and a 22% increase in aggravated assault. There's concern that we will see more record-breaking numbers in the coming months. It's getting warm, too. And, you know, when it's warm, you know, that's when it's going to escalate. And um, I'm going to tell the city we need to come together. Thursday, Reverend Johnson hopes talking about these numbers will help change things. But it's going to take the faith-based organization. It's going to take the city. It's going to take the police department and the collaborative effort. And right now you're getting another look at that house that we've seen detectives and police officers surrounding and crossing off with yellow tape. We've seen them out here taking pictures and walking around looking for evidence and clues. Now again, this is a very fluid situation. We're continuing to work with police and try to get much more information out to you. Meanwhile, as far as those violent crimes, we reached out to Little Rock Police, but they declined to speak with us about those numbers, saying that they've talked about them previously. But of course, a very fluid situation, a lot of violent crimes happening here in the capital city and we'll update you you as we learn more. But for now, reporting live in Little Rock, Alexis Wainwright, KRK4 News.